emotional. It's absolutely understandable because uh, this weekend is going to be very, very special for a lot of people, uh, whether it's drivers, whether it's uh, certainly spectators. Anyone that's involved, it's something very, very special. When you first came up with the idea or had the thought about what to do, did you ever have any idea that we'd be uh, here today with a crowd like this and the car numbers like this? Never in a million years would I think we'd get this amount of cars and cool cars and like in this day and age, all these day sixes and all the bits and bobs. The cars that Dad loved, he, he, he would love to be here today, he'd like to see it. And of course, originally, you, I think, wanted to just sponsor one race. I think it may be a BWS or something like that. And of course, uh, talking with Dean and various other things, uh, came up with the idea that perhaps you might be able to do the 370. That was the, the start plan. Yeah, the whole idea of the race thing was uh, we didn't get to have a wake for Dad because of COVID restrictions and all that. And I just wanted something in his name just to do something but not too much fuss and then Dean said why well, do you do a meeting and I was like I don't know you know like I don't know if I can do that and then I spoke to Kerry and the system was like let's let's just go for it and give it a go because we want a pre-70 back at Milner and this is where I come with dad every year without fail to watch this meeting and when he raced I'd drive him and just how I, I got driven out kind of thing so that it's just, I just want to say thanks to everyone that has, has made it here, whether you're just watching, you're racing, you're racing both days, it costs a fortune to be here. And like, I, I just want to say thank you, literally main thing, thank you. And obviously you've done an awful lot of work uh, behind the scenes. Um, so much respect. No one had a bad word for your old man whatsoever. And the fact that so many drivers have come back, there is this material here this weekend. Um, that must make you immensely proud. It, it does. Like, it, if you didn't know Dad, you know what I mean. He was my best mate. Like, it's, I miss him every day. But you come here to share the cars with us. We all love this. The, the bar last night, a Friday night in Milnall, and there's the bar's full of people having fun. And that, that is this weekend's all about having fun. Just please enjoy yourselves. That is the main thing. Like, hit whoever you want to hit. It's not going to matter today. Just do what you got to do. Like, do not, we're not here for points. We're here, get entertainer awards, win a few races, have some fun. And just finally, I just want to ask you about your sister, because we spoke earlier, her first ever race meeting in a car in a banger, and it's this one, but she said to you, I'm sorry, I'm doing this one. Yeah, like, I'm not keen on her racing. Like, I've put it off for forever. Same as Dad's, like, you stick the horses, I stick the bangers, job done. I ain't riding no horses, that's for sure, so... She, she's had a go at the bangers in memory of dad, but I, I, I think she'll enjoy it. I think she will, and I think we're all going to enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, a few moments ago there was half a round of applause. Can you please show your appreciation for a man that has put this together this weekend in memory of his father, Mr. Kevin Waller. Please, for uh, him and his sister racing for the first time this weekend, Laura, we wish them the best of luck. What a weekend we are in store for. Huge emotional and it's totally understandable because uh, so many special people here, so many people that respected him, raced with him and knew him from uh, an early age and uh, just the respect.
taking the win. But uh, give a nice round of applause. 739, our third place driver, Jason Moore. Coming home in uh, second place, we mentioned on the side about, about uh, Milton Hall skip higher, Becro Carl Spares as well, putting them on the road tonight. Uh, coming home in second place, give it up for 920, James Redley. But he was uh, talking with Nick earlier about how delighted he was with his family being here to see him uh, take the heat win. And now he comes through to take the final. Ladies and gentlemen, winning tonight's feature race, give it up for 523, John Swambra. John, uh, delighted with that, uh, I'm uh, sure. We'll put the uh, three of them on the uh, podium. You won the entertainer, mate, but uh, yes, on that. So, uh, now you've had a chance to uh, let everything sink in a little bit. Um, must be absolutely happy with how things have gone. It's been brilliant. Yeah, I've not, not seen too much, but fixing the cars, you can hear the crowd from there. It's, it's, it's what you want to hear when you're fixing the cars, you know what I mean? And consolation, uh, the consolation side is savage, so that, that's what we wanted, and that's, that's, that's what it's all about. And your sister's done all right as well. Yeah, that's how I've done for the night, thank God. <laughs> good man, good man. Right, uh, we, want, oh, we want Tom in the pictures as well, so... Uh, John, very quickly, we'll walk and talk. Um, you spoke with Nick earlier and said about how delighted you were with the, uh, your family being here. Uh, you must be over the moon now. I am absolutely buzzing. It has just been mint. I love it. And I will say, we're bringing it back to Ringwood Cheaters. <laughs> there we go. Right. That is it going back. Uh, must have, I mean, the car handled absolutely superbly in that final. I'll tell you what, it was, it was a good thing to drive. It's got the power there. It's, it's just, it's, I, I can't explain. It's just mint. It's just been mint. I'm buzzing. And we'll see you out later? Yeah, I uh, don't know actually. I don't know if I want to smash it up now. It's a difficult one, particularly how well it's going. But well done to you, mate. Get aboard that pace car. Ladies and gentlemen, around the raceway, the uh, top three. Tom on board as well in tonight's uh, final for uh, Jason. Uh, 920 and Swampy in 523. Here they are in tonight's grand final trophy lap of honour. then we'll get our third place driver over Tom you're going to do the honours whilst I have a chat with him right Terry Hill coming home in third place in that one well done sirs um, wow what a race that was it descended into chaos but I mean you know how to pick your way for a gap or two and you managed to get up there in the closing stages I think you gained about seven or eight places in the last few laps yeah I was trying to pick my way through best I could but obviously couldn't get, get up near the front quick enough an amazing race to win. I mean, it was worthy of a, a championship grid of drivers. I'm going to have a chat with Tom very shortly. But Ricky Vinny second, Carl Sauter first. I mean, I'd imagine if you were going to be a betting man, you wouldn't have had Carl Sauter finishing in front of you. No, probably not, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, all comers as well. Um, 
you know, you like a crush as well as an ex-driver out there, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be joining us for the Allcomers. Yeah, I reckon we'll back out again, yeah. Brilliant stuff. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for our third place driver in this afternoon's final. It's Terry Hill! Right, second place in that one. I know he loves a race win, and he was itching to get involved. Not more like so than when he was itching to get involved in the action straight after the checker flag. Second place in that one was Ricky Finney. Ricky, congratulations. Um, took the checker flag straight in there on uh, Dan Latham. Enjoyed that as much as the second place in that one. Yeah, I wanted to hit something early, but I like kept getting through pile. It was for I'm in a position here, and then when I seen him game in first, I was like, I'm actually keep going now. <laughs> well, again. It was a great race to be in. You're going to be out there in the Allcomers and DD as well. I mean, I, I like a gamble now and again. I'd bet on you for the DD. You always seem to do well. Isn't it? Yeah, just keep steering straight and you can just keep going, can't you? It's been an amazing weekend. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Absolutely superb. I mean, that one over there deserves a lot of credit. He's put so much into it. It's been a pleasure to be part of. And I know that, to be honest with you, in your backyard as well, you're thinking, well, second in this will be just as much as, a, as an entertainer. Yeah, it's can't believe it's even finished the race. We, I drove it around the yard last week and it's like a boat and uh, no way it's going to go around. I imagine there's a lot of drivers out there that are pleased it's finished the race. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next ones. Ladies and gentlemen, second place in this afternoon's final, it's Ricky Finney. Yeah, <laughs> Here he comes. I'll be able to get my own back on him now. Um, fantastic to see him. Normally we're giving him entertainer awards left, right and centre, but today winning the Kev Wallop Memorial Final. Mate, you must be over the moon, Carl. Well, yeah, I can't believe I won it, to be honest. I mean, it was going so, so well. I mean, the pilot started down here on the, on the home straight. You played an absolute blinder by spinning one or two out into it, which got them to one side, and it literally just managed to carry on your merry way. Yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I saw the hearse sitting there, and I did think, yeah, shall I? And then I see the flag, <laughs> and I see the finger come out, yeah, you're first. I thought, I've got to go for it, innit? No, he wasn't pointing that you were first, he was pointing you to go into it. But no, uh, listen, an amazing race to win. You know, everyone has played a massive part. I know everyone here has enjoyed it as much as the next person, and you are the first name to go onto that trophy this afternoon. Yeah, yes, I can't believe it. <laughs> so. Well done, well done, Carl. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your memorial winner. It's Carl Salter. What have you got me into it? I'm like, Dean wants me on board. What do you reckon? Bit of poaching going on. <laughs> um, it's been an amazing weekend, though, hasn't it? Yeah, very, very good. I, I, I never believed how good it would be, and it is. It's, it's been the nuts. Seriously.